you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. And as those of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and the ushering in of the Antichrist. Today's show, I want to talk about this quote-unquote Brexit, which is the UK filing for its independence as it leaves the European Union and as uh, other sources are talking now about all of these other nations are going to come forward and leave and be independent and be a sovereignty. And you're seeing various quote-unquote truthers. You're seeing articles released by the hour here talking about how this is going to put a stop to the New World Order. Along with Donald Trump, the New World Order is getting their brains bashed in now, that it's all going to stop, that everything's going to change. Everybody is falling for this. It could not be further from the truth. The Bilderberg meetings occurred, what, two weeks ago? I talked about it on this channel. Other people reported on the Bilderberg meetings. We know that an economic collapse is imminent along with a war. All of these things, okay, are, chaos is going to occur. Okay, order is going to come out of this chaos. You have sites like InfoWars, which obviously most of you out there are familiar with InfoWars, and you know what goes on with InfoWars and how they are you know, bought and paid for opposition. They have them talking about how this is great for Donald Trump. And other countries are going to follow suit, and they're all going to leave this union. Everyone's going to be independent. That is going to lead to this financial collapse, okay, because it's going to be unstable. Everybody's going to think that they have independence, that they're free, that their country's free. This is all part of it. Anyone out there that thinks that any individual group, that any of us could actually defeat the New World Order, and when you have CNN and all of these other non-credible sources pumping this out as if this is a victory for the people, how could you not put one and one together and realize that's what they want you to think? That is how they operate. This is part of the mind control that the people are under. Yet people are coming forward, even truthers talking about how this is a victory for the people. There are no victories for the people. You don't think that they predetermined this and decided this, that they already have a plan behind it, that they want to give the people People hope and they want to trick truthers and people out there who fight against them into thinking, wait a minute, are we actually winning something? We're not winning anything. The only victory comes when Jesus Christ returns. The rest of it is all part of their plan. And they are working the masses into thinking that, you know, this is going to be a victory for the people against the big banks, the big merchant banks. Oh, we're all going to, you know, we're going to break away from it, that these people are corrupt, that Wall Street's corrupt. That's what they want. If they didn't want that, then this wouldn't happen. And these stories wouldn't come out. All of these political leaders, all part of the chess game. And we're pawns in the chess game. You get the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, resigning. You don't think that that was already planned, that he already knew this was coming, that they didn't discuss this with him months in advance and finalize it at the Bilderberg meetings as they finalize all these events that are going going to occur this summer, including some type of false flag event, a big event that's likely to occur in the United States, where I'm really starting to think that something could be going on at this together event that's going to occur right outside of the Washington Monument. I talked about another video, the Washington Monument, the 6660 inches tall, 666 inches wide obelisk, which is Satan shaft, ball shaft, and all these Christians are going to be allowed to be there and, and praise Jesus Christ, yet we can't even get people to ha be allowed to talk about scripture in public without getting having police show up at their house and them taking your Bibles away. So there's a, a lot of things that are going to be going on, and along with Trump, and along with martial law, you're going to see all of the dominoes fall into place in the next few months, but this is the beginning of it, and people think this is the opposite of that, and that's what they want. They want to trick the people into thinking that this is a victory for the people, that the big banks are going to go down, that people are going to have independence, countries are going to have independence, that they're not going to have to rely on the big banks anymore. This is all order out of chaos. Chaos is going to come, and then order is going to come in. This, they're going to show that this doesn't work, this independent freedom, that we all need to be together. We all need to have a world currency. 
You know, because we're seeing, oh, the euro smashing through the ground. And then next to come is going to be the U.S. dollar smashing through the ground. All of these currencies are going to be destroyed. And they're going to bring in a electronic currency, which is going to lead to the microchipping. That is what is coming next. They are getting rid of cash. They're already telling you this with you know, PayPal, look at their commercial, cashless society, it's the future, talking about the microchip, you know, BuzzFeed had the guy get the microchip, talking about how great it is for millennials, millennials don't want to carry around cash, they don't want to carry around credit cards, all of this is the destruction of the paper dollar, of coins, all of this stuff, the destruction is coming, it is imminent, so while today seems like a victory, this is part of the PSYOP, this is not a victory for anyone, this is part of their plan, okay, everything goes according to their plan, unless God intervenes, and God is not intervening here. This is part of their plan. This is what they planned for and what they wanted. They want to trick people into thinking that this is a victory over big banks. It is not. There is going to be destruction that comes next. As the euro crashes, as other countries leave the European Union, okay, as they push Donald Trump, okay, and say he's going to be fighting against the new world order, all this stuff that everybody is falling for is part of their plan. If it wasn't part of their plan, it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't air on national television, somebody would be killed if they interfere with their plans. That's how they operate. CNN, all these sites wouldn't be pumping this out as a victory for the people if it wasn't indeed the opposite. Because all of this is a lie. We live in an illusion. None of this stuff is true. So I see a lot of people in the UK celebrating this as a victory, as if it's the first steps in taking down the New World Order. I hear other people talk about that's a victory for the United States because it's going to lead to Donald Trump coming in and keeping America, you know, as this independent powerhouse, as all these countries continue to be independent. They want you to think that's what's going to happen, that it's going to be the opposite of the New World Order. And they're just going to quietly, you know, start destroying currencies, quietly get everyone together after a war occurs and have a one world currency, which will be electronic, which will be part of the microchipping. That is what is to come next. So this is not a victory for anyone except the New World Order. This is a victory for them as they continue to trick people. They get people off their scent. They lead people in the opposite direction. They give you know society, who the cattle as they refer to us as, they give you a taste of victory. They trick you into thinking that you're defeating them while they're laughing up there going, yep, let them think that they're winning. They don't know what's coming next. They don't know what false flag events about to go down and then what it's going to lead to as the dominoes fall into place to recreate the Tower of Babel, to recreate a New World Order, which is what they've wanted to since the beginning, since God divided the nations and, you know, and, and stopped them from doing this with the Tower of Babel, it is all coming into right into the plan the way that they want it to, the way that they have wanted it to from the beginning with the Pope supporting the one world religion. So again, don't fall for this stuff. When you see people like InfoWars, most of you know, you know, InfoWars and what, what they're all about. All of this stuff, you know, is they give you opposed opposition so that you think that, oh, but InfoWars is against the mainstream media, yet they back Donald Trump, yet they, you know, they give you a taste of truth sometimes when they talk about Satanism on there and stuff like that. All of this is part of the plan to create the illusion of a victory against the big banks, okay, where they, the, the elitists want the big banks destroyed because they want the microchipping, they want the electronic currency, they want all the currencies to be equal, they want it all to work as one. That's why you hear every, you know, every music artist has a song called One. He's not talking about man and woman becoming one. They've been brainwashing the masses into a universal one movement, one love, one belief, one religion, one currency, one world order, one world government. All of it is happening right in front of our faces. It is unfolding as we speak. This summer, an event is going to go down. This is part of what they have had planned before these elections occur. Martial law is on the table right here, you know, to come into play in the next three or four months. Obama staying in office is in play. All of this stuff, you know, Trump being a target for a false flag, uh, you know, assassination or, you know, some type of psyop assassination where he might not even be killed and must be, might be rushed underground. All of this stuff falling into place. So be prepared for what is to come. Stay strong in your faith. Stay strong in scripture. And whatever you do, don't fall for the things you hear of this earth. Because we've been forewarned about what this earth is all about. The lies and the lies and the lies that these people pump out every single day. Do not fall for their lies. Do not be deceived by the news. Do not be deceived by thinking in your brain that this is a victory against the New World Order. That is what they want us to think. They want us to think it's a victory for us. They want the UK to think it's a victory for them. 
The bankers and the elitists are laughing in their palatial palaces, wherever they are. This has been planned out for a while. This has been finalized at the Bilderberg meeting. They finalized the events that are going to occur, you know, going into the Bohemian Grove. All these things in the next two to three months that are going to go down, probably even less than two months, to be honest. You're talking July and August here. Maybe into September again, we'll see some type of you know historic event that they create on United States soil. All we can do is pray and hope that it doesn't happen. But this is this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So don't think that there is something is happening that's saving us from a new world order coming in. That oh, this is a victory. The people have finally won something. There are no victories for us except on Judgment Day, except when the trumpets sound, when Jesus Christ returns. That's the victory for us. Okay, there's no victories in the rest of this because they, our entire reality is controlled by them. They own every media outlet. They own every single thing. They put all these stories out there. They want you to think that it's a victory for you. Otherwise, they would talk about this as if it's catastrophic collapse, right? But what are you seeing out there? You're seeing stories talking about, oh, this is great. This is a victory for the people. This isn't a catast- you know, catastrophic collapse, but then you have You know, bankers come out and say, oh, this is going to destroy the UK. I mean, all of this stuff is all set up. It is all part of the plan. So don't fall for it. Other people out there are pumping this as a victory against the NWO. And as, you know, Trump is going to come in next and save us from this new world order. Give me a break with this stuff. Give me a break. I mean, you cannot be falling for this stuff, really. You got to be smarter than that. These stories wouldn't come out. They control the media. These stories wouldn't come out. Okay, they would stop it from happening. Or if somebody was going against their plans, they would be killed immediately without hesitation. Oops, he had a drug overdose. Oops, he fell down a well. Oops, he was struck by lightning. And everyone would go, oh, just like the guy that ran himself over with the car, right? Oh, but it was a manual transition. You can run yourself over. It happens all the time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm running myself over tomorrow. I'm planning on it. Give me a break. All controlled media, all controlled reality. This is all to get you leading in a direction where you think everything is fine. You think that all these countries are going to find independence and not be dependent on the banks. And then, boom, they're going to hit us with something. It's going to be an economic collapse. It's going to be a World War III type event. You know, many people will be sacrificed. That is what is coming next. So be prepared. Stay strong in your faith. Don't fall for any of this nonsense, any of the shenanigans that they put out there. Because they plan everything. Everything. Nothing gets on the news unless they want it to get on the news. Nothing gets talked about unless they want it to be talked about. Nothing. Especially something like this. And even like the Prime Minister, people are like, oh, he just suddenly resigned. Of course he didn't suddenly resign. He's known about it probably at least for a couple years, maybe a year. But he was finalized with him at the Bilderberg meetings. You think he's surprised? He just woke up today and was like, oh, just I'm going to resign as Prime Minister because, oh, I didn't see this coming. Of course he saw it coming. He's an elitist. He's in the inner circles. He wouldn't be a Prime Minister if he wasn't in the secret society networking system. You don't get there unless you're a part of it. Nobody does. So while other people are calling this a victory against the New World Order, this is a part of the New World Order's agenda. Falling into place because things like this don't just happen without their control. Give me a break if you believe this stuff. Nonsense. Total nonsense. Thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. May peace be with you.